Hey guys! So it's been a while since I've done a makeup tutorial and I wanted to show you kind of how I'm doing my makeup these days and um, I use a lot of our kittenish products and I also use a lot of products that aren't kittenish products. So I'm going to show you how I do it. I'm going to go as quickly as I possibly can. I know this isn't the YouTube days that I used to do where I would just like ramble for 25 minutes. Um, so I'll try to make it as quick as possible, but I've got my hair pulled back. I do have um, tinted moisturizer on, which is pretty dark. Um, I like to go a little bit of a dark, like a shade darker on my skin whenever I um, start my makeup now, just because Emma kind of taught me that. Whoop, dropped my sponge. Um, because then you don't have to like overdo it with the bronzing powder. But anyway, okay, we'll get started. So, um, Typically, before I do my makeup, I like to put on my um, Kittenish Illuminating Facial Tan Mist. It just gives it a really nice tint. So, hmm, and it's refreshing. But it just kind of gives your skin a little bit of a glow. So, as it kind of sits, I will start with my eyes. So, I've got, and these are dirty because they are just, I shove them in my big makeup travel bag that I take everywhere. So, they're kind of, filthy looking, um, but it's because I use them. So we're gonna start with the matte squad, as you can see here. I like these colors because I feel like they, there's a little bit of something in here, like they're, they're different enough and they all serve their purpose. Um, and so I will start here and this one is called, I named all of these, but this is called Let's Get, no, 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 Brazilian Babe, Let's get nude, Georgia Clay, and hot chocolate. So we're gonna start with Brazilian Babe, which is the lighter one here. I'm gonna go over my lid. Just kind of sets, sets the tone, literally. The lighting in here is not great, I'll be honest, but where our house is set, like look, I love our house, love our house, but I will say for lighting purposes, it is not ideal. Like I can never get things light enough, bright enough, um, and it kind of makes me crazy, but whatever. Okay, so next I'm gonna go over here and this is our Let's Get Nude. I'm just gonna dab this. Just to kind of start that contour. And then next I'm going to Grab our Georgia Clay. I'm gonna just keep going over all these creases, but make sure whatever you do, do not color that part there under your brows. We're gonna hit that in a little bit with our shimmer palette. Now I like Georgia Clay. I know it's got a little like red hue, but the reason why I like it is I feel like it instantly warms up your face. Okay, next we're gonna do our this one's called um, Hot Chocolate. And I'm gonna dab this one slightly. And I'm gonna, just gonna hit underneath my eyes here. Cause I like a smoky eye. I feel like it just makes my eyes pop a little bit more. And then I'll extend it out so it kind of gives it like a faux cat eye. And then I will go over this part and we'll kind of make it all connect. Isn't that pretty? Okay. So it all kind of connects. We've got kind of the matte thing going on, but what's really important next is our shimmer. Our shimmer is going to really tie in the eye all together, but I'm just going over it a little bit more. Okay, next. Grab your shimmer quad. This is going to really make everything just pop. Um, let me grab. So we do, we did um, include little eye, like eyeshadow brushes, and I actually like to use these for very specific things. I use my other brushes for like the matte because these are not big enough. Um, but I do like to use the little guys for like a little pop. So I'm gonna go over here and I'm gonna grab here, kitty, kitty. And I'm gonna hit the top of that brow there so it can really pop. And I'm gonna go over on this side. You can hear Vivi in the background telling Jake to go outside. Okay, and then I'm gonna take it a little bit here and we're gonna put it on the inner 
part of the eye because it just makes it pop. Isn't that pretty? I slightly like go underneath it a little bit because we're gonna clean it up a little bit after we um after we put like our under eye concealer. Like I need to do my skin, obviously. I know it's kind of looking meh right now. Okay. Whoops. We'll clean all this up later. So then I'm gonna take another brush and I'm gonna go over to Golden Girl and I'm gonna brush it across my lid. How gorgeous is that? I love this color. See what a difference that makes? I mean, these colors are just gorgeous. I'm gonna put like, look at that. They're so pretty. Sometimes I'll just use my fingers. And then just a little bit, I'll take a little bit of like the, the Hair Kitty Kitty and I'll just dab it like that so it really kind of pops it open. Then I'm gonna go back with one of these brushes and this is the darker one. This is um, Bronze Bunny. And I'll just slightly dust so we have a little bit of a shimmer underneath the eye to match with that dark smoky thing we just did. Love. Okay, so I'm just gonna clean up a little bit. It's so weird because I feel like what you're seeing on camera is a little bit different than what I'm seeing in my mirror, but overall it looks really good. I'm gonna clean up underneath my eyes because we're going to use a little, a little wipey. Eric steals my moisturizer sometimes, so I need to go grab it. Okay, clean, and I'm gonna take a little moisturizer just to keep everything really nice and clean. And your, the, the facial spray tan should be pretty set in now. Okay, so now that my eyes are done, I'm going to clean up my brows. Where did my brow pencil go? I like to use a couple of different brow pencils. I like to use Benefit, and of course I like to use Anastasia. I don't know where, where she went. Oh, okay, so I like to use both of these. Um, they both do different things, um, but I definitely like to fill in my brows a little bit more. I already have pretty thick brows, as you can see. Um, I was just born with them, so I'm pretty lucky there. I don't typically have to do too much. I tweeze a little bit in here, but they kind of grow this way. And I know I say this on every video, but I used to be made fun of for my brows because they were so thick and so full. And then I did what every teenager does, and I like over tweezed them. I would take yellow eyeshadow and cover my brows with them because I was so embarrassed by how, how dark they were. And then finally, they became cool. And I was like, well, hell yeah. I don't have to stress about this anymore. But I just like to fill them in, give them a really nice shape. And just, I follow the natural shape that I already have and just kind of fill in the gaps. Like this side, I have kind of like a, a, a cow, I don't know if it's a cow like there, but like it doesn't grow as much, so I have to kind of fill in this part, but there we go. And then I just do a little, little sometimes I color in my mold a little bit more. Okay, um, and I do like uh, Benefit. Benefit makes a really great one too. This one's a little bit more of an oil base rather than a pencil, but they, they're both great. All right, so we're gonna do under eye. I'm obsessed with this Charlotte Tilbury. It's number two, Medium Moyen. It's her under eye camouflage. You can use your finger, I just use my little sponge, but man, oh man, I cannot live without this stuff. It literally covers up everything. Look at the difference in that, it's unbelievable. So I will just kind of sponge it and then you put your concealer over it, but it's just a color corrector, so it corrects the dark circles, I tend to have a lot of dark circles in bags. I don't sleep well. Uh, and that is the first thing that shows up. I don't think I'm drinking enough water either. Okay, so got that. And then I like all kinds of concealer. I'm really not that crazy about like living and dying by one concealer, but I'll show you the ones that I keep in my makeup bag. I like this Makeup Forever one. I like the Marc Jacobs one. And then I think the other one I like, whenever I'm not as tan, I also like, 
I love Amazing Cosmetics. I use that one a lot. But it's out. I should probably throw it away. There's like a pinch left in there. Oh, and I really like Tarte, but this one's really light right now. I'm kind of tan, so I, I'm not using this one. But these are the ones I kind of go, go through. E either one of them works. But today, I think we're going to go with Marc Jacobs because I think it's like the perfect color for me right now. I'm just kind of tapping underneath there. And then I'll hit right in there, kind of there, kind of there. I got a little pimple growing there, so I'll just hit there. And then I'll sponge it. We're gonna bronze up and we're gonna blush it up. So, I'm going to take my Charlotte Tilbury. I love this stuff. I have my bronzing palette, but I'm almost out of it. We actually need to restock that one. But I'm just gonna hit a little bit here and go up and down the side of my cheek. Thank my mother for these cheekbones. She's got really high cheekbones. Cindy got them too. So I just kind of make everything, which is nice. I hope they never fall. Okay. And then I just got to keep sponging. I'm telling you this lighting sucks so bad. It's so much better than what you're seeing because I'm looking in the mirror and I'm like, anyway. Okay. Next, I'm going to do my blush. So believe it or not, I use my Jessie lipstick for my blush. I take a little bit here, cause it's like the perfect shade for my cheeks. And it's a nice cream, and I prefer a cream blush over, not pretty? I prefer a cream blush over um, a powder, cause I just think it makes your skin look more dewy and youthful. Isn't that pretty? I love it. Okay. A little bit more. Okay, got my blush. Now I'm gonna put on my lip liner. This is our Jessie Lip Kit that I'm obsessed with. Okay, now I'm gonna put on my lipstick. That was just our blush. I cannot live without this color. So let me tell you a little secret about this lip kit. There was a lipstick that I like loved so much. That was, I don't know, it was with the brand 15 years ago and they stopped making it and it crushed me. I bought as, I like literally bought as many as I could and they, I mean, I got some off eBay. They like just discontinued this lipstick. It was the perfect shade of lipstick for me. And so, um, oh, I'm putting on powder, just setting underneath my eyes, just so you, that's what I'm doing. Any powder works, I don't care. This is a Becca one, Becca's been discontinued. Um, NARS makes a really good translucent crystal setting powder. I just like to set underneath my eyes so that nothing runs. Um, but anyway, so they, they stopped making this lipstick, devastated, I bought them all and ran out. Well, whenever Alexa and I decided to formulate my own lip kit, I was like, listen, this is my last lipstick. And I love this color so much. It has been discontinued. It is the perfect shade of lipstick. Can we please make this? And um, we did. And I, and I think it's even better. Okay, so the last thing that I'm going to do is I'm gonna do my eyeliner. I'm a little out of order with everything, but I'm going to do my eyeliner. You guys know I love to do a good cat eye. I'm going to be using the Patrick Ta eyeliner. Um, actually, no, I'm not. I'm going to use 
which one is this one? Okay, I think this is literally like an Amazon brand. I just, um, I don't wanna use this one because it's really, really, really strong and I don't want that strong of a cat eye today because I'm just going to the airport. This is probably a lot of makeup for the airport, but I'm actually landing in Miami and going to an event. So um, I wanted to have a lot of my makeup done anyway. So I just sharpened this pencil. I think I literally got like, it came like in a 12 pack of just eyeliner. So it's pretty cheap and it works. So I'm going to, I just had my lashes done too, so it helps. I'm gonna just pull it out to the side. I like to start from the end here. It looks really nice. And I'm gonna go over here. Okay. I don't even know that I need to really pull it in too much. I'll kind of, sometimes I don't put it all the way because it doesn't need it, but we'll just do a little bit. I'll just barely tap it, okay? Whoops. She falling down. Uh-oh. Okay. Oh, crap. Okay. And there's the cat eye. I'm gonna put a little mascara on the bottom, but I'm not gonna hit the top just because I just had them done. Uh, I'm not picky with my mascara either, but this is, who is this? I don't even know this brand. So I'm just gonna hit underneath my, my bottom lashes. I love a good bottom lash mascara job. That looks pretty there. And then I'm gonna do one last thing. I'm gonna contour one more thing cause I didn't contour my nose. I don't think I'm gonna just contour just a little bit. I've gotten more comfortable in my nose. I used to not be, it used to be something that really bothered me but it's part of who I am. But I still contour it a little bit. <laughs> I feel like I've gotten good at it. And I'll just go underneath here one more time. Underneath my chin, a little bit on my neck, so it all kind of goes. Last, last, last thing. I'm gonna take the Shimmer Squad and I'm gonna take here, Kitty Kitty. I'm just gonna dab a little bit on my nose, a little bit on top of my cheek here. A little bit here, a little bit on top of my lips here. And then I'm gonna take a lip gloss. This is by Morphe. Take these out. Put a little bit of my Frisky perfume on. This is also Kittenish. It smells so good. It's it's got such a nice summery feel. It's very feminine and uh, feminine, and I love it. So I'm gonna put a little bit. Woo! And there you have it. My makeup is done, and I am ready to travel. I hope y'all liked it. I'll try to list everything that I used in the comments, but you know where to get the Kittenish products, our lip kit, our eyeshadow palette, our matte eyeshadow palette, our illuminating facial spray. Um, I use the lipstick as a blush. I use the shimmer palette also as a little highlighter and also the Frisky perfume, which is very, very pretty, sexy little scent. Um, but I love you guys. I haven't done one of these in a while and I hope you liked it. I felt a little rusty, but I feel like mission accomplished. You guys got to see my tutorial. I love y'all. See you later.